Arsenal up and running, but what about their North London rivals Spurs are hosting Southampton, that one at three o'clock, where Kelly Summers is going to be watching. Good afternoon, Kelly. Good afternoon, Alex. Yes, plenty of optimism in North London at the moment, understandably at Arsenal, but also here at Spurs. Of course, Antonio Conte has stayed at the club. Champions League football is going to be played here once again. And six new summer signings with potentially still more to come. Of course, they'll be hoping that translates into three points against Southampton here this afternoon. And one man who will certainly be hoping that is the case is Spurs legend Gary Mabbott. Gary, good to see you. Happy new season. Firstly, can you you remember the last time there was this much good feeling this much optimism around Spurs at the start of a campaign well Kelly it's the first full day of the Premier League season you know a landmark day in the footballing calendar where every supporter in the country are traveling on their way to the stadiums full of hope full of optimism and all the new signings that clubs have made wanting to see how their team are going to turn out <laughs> and you know, everyone believes that their team can do it this year start of the first full first game starts can they do it? It could just be maybe their season. OK, well, come on then. Everyone's dreaming about their club. Spurs are your club. 14 years now. Sorry, Spurs fans. Without a trophy. <laughs> Antonio Conte is in charge. When you think of Conte, you think of trophies. Is this going to be Spurs' this year? Well, of course. Say, I was travelling here today and I mentioned uh, the smiles on the faces of all the supporters. I think there's a lot of optimism around the club at the moment that I haven't felt for a while. We've had some fantastic signings uh, throughout the summer transfer period and a great squad of players, one of the best managers in the world. It's still work in progress, but Antonio's, uh, every club he's gone to generally, I think, uh, the second season at a club, he's won a, a title or a trophy. So, of course, that's what we all want to see. Uh, great football, get out there, putting in a sustained challenge for all the major trophies. And we've got a squad of players and a manager that are capable of doing that. You got fourth last year, got that Champions League football, which I know you were so desperate for. Do you think then you can challenge for the Premier League alongside Manchester City and Liverpool and those teams this year? I believe, just mentioned, we've got a squad. I say it's still work in progress. We've got a squad of players and the players that we've brought in, we strengthened the squad. We've now got strength in depth in virtually every position. So, yes, uh, Antonio, as I said, he's had a whole pre-season to work with the players. And so, as I said before... Coming in today, the optimism on the fans' faces, I think that says a lot. And there's plenty of optimism on your face as well. I think, Alex, that was a yes. Gary, thank you so much <laughs> for joining us. I've also got to say, the last time I was pitch side at a game was last Sunday. And my pitch side guest that afternoon, of course, when England had just won the Euros, was far more high maintenance than Gary. Farrah Williams had me taking photos of everyone. Gary's been a delight in comparison. Kelly, <laughs> <Hi. laughs> she loves a photo this one now. She's changed. <laughs> Let me not true. <laughs> but I'm telling you what is exciting once again the race in that top four when you look at all the teams in and around it we love a prediction on this show we've asked for yours we want people to join in at home hashtag bbc football see if you agree or disagree with these two right let's have a look glenn you've got